Russia's invasion of Ukraine has turned into a grinding war of attrition with its artillery and air force pounding Ukrainian forces on the battlefield to make way for its infantry to slowly make advances in eastern and southern Ukraine. Friday marked the 65th day since Russian President Vladimir Putin launched an invasion of Ukraine that has cost thousands of lives and left villages, towns, and cities in ruins. After more than two months of war, Putin's forces are in control of large swaths of territory in southern and eastern Ukraine, but so far they have not been able to make major breaks through stiff Ukrainian defenses. But there is some evidence to suggest Ukrainian forces are suffering heavy losses and are at risk of ceding much more ground in the coming days and weeks as Russia pounds the front lines. Meanwhile, Russia continues to launch long-range missile strikes at targets far from the front lines. On Thursday night, Russian missiles hit Kiev, the capital, damaging a residential area and killing a Radio Liberty journalist inside her apartment. Russia said its missiles struck a space rocket company's facility in Kiev. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky denounced the attack on Kiev and said it showed the Kremlin has no respect for the United Nations. The missiles fell on Kiev on the same day UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres was in the city. Immediately after the end of our talks in Kiev, Russian missiles flew into the city. Five missiles, Zelensky said during a video message. This says a lot about Russia's true attitude to global institutions. About the efforts of the Russian leadership to humiliate the UN and everything that the organization represents. Therefore, it requires a strong response. The hope for Ukrainian and Western officials is that the Russian assault on the Donbass will fizzle out due to fatigue, supply problems, low morale and inadequate troop and equipment levels. Such a situation could allow for Ukraine to mount counteroffensives and retake territory it is giving up now under Russia's artillery barrage. The UN Human Rights Agency said on Friday that it has recorded 2,899 civilian deaths, including 210 children, since the invasion started. Additionally, 3,235 civilians have been wounded, it said. The Donbass region has been the bloodiest for civilians with 1,317 killed in Ukrainian-held areas and 94 killed in territory under the control of the self-declared republics of Donetsk and Luhansk, the UN. The civilian death toll is believed to be much higher. It remains unclear how many soldiers have been killed, though Ukraine claims that Russia has lost about 23,000 Russian troops. Earlier this month, Russia claimed more than 20,000 Ukrainian soldiers had been killed. It is impossible to independently verify these claims. There are reports of Western fighters among the dead. On Friday, media reported that a 22-year-old former U.S. Marine called Willie Joseph Cancel was killed on Monday, according to CNN. British media on Friday also reported the death of a former British soldier, Scott Sibley, and that another British man was missing. An unknown number of foreigners are in Ukraine fighting as volunteers and mercenaries on both sides.